Seth MacFarlane says that he will never host the Oscars again. The Family Guy showrunner said on Twitter there was no way he would host another Oscars, but that it was, quote, a lot of fun to have done it. All right, he said this from the start, didn't he? Yeah, he said this before. He um, has Family Guy and American Dad, two shows that he's very involved in, obviously, as the showrunner. He didn't get a break during those shows to prepare mm -hmm. the Oscars. He said he was working 150 hours a week. He was pretty much blatantly complaining in interviews before the show, saying he's too tired. He would never do it again. It's, he's not really enjoying it. Um, but, you know, he did it, and he did a decent job. There's a lot of controversy about a lot of the things he did. People said he was a little too misogynistic. Um, some you don't his, love a good song about boobs? Yeah, the boobs song is one thing. Um, he also made a crack about Kamajane Wallace, mm -hmm. nine-year-old yeah, actress nominee, line. saying that she's almost too old for George mm -hmm. Clooney. So, um, I don't know if he would have been called back. It seems like a little bit of a presumptuous so thing. So they're but. scraping the bottom of the barrel. I mean, they don't have a, a ton of right. options unless Tina and Amy do start just right. hosting everything. I think it's, and they, again, the Golden Globes asked Ricky Gervais back after he, they openly said they didn't like the performance he did. They asked him back a year again, which is a source of um, ridicule for them. But, you know, it's a thankless job. Everyone is waiting on Twitter to bash no matter what you do. The next day you're going to see articles about yourself, which is what the opening was supposed to be a parody of this time. Right, because Anne Hathaway seems to be the only person who has escaped relatively unscathed, and it seems that that is only because right. James Frankel was so terrible right. that it was easy enough to pawn it off right. all on him. But I would say that I wouldn't say unscathed because she's now sort of seen, for some reason, people, especially online, really sort of see her as this over eager, sort of insufferable type, which again, uh, James Franco, or she said, anyone standing next to James Franco is going to look, uh, I'm sorry, he said, anyone standing next to Anne Hathaway is going to look really like down and sort of stoned. And she sort of came across as very over bubbly and over eager, which has sort of been her reputation ever since. You can blame it on the Academy Awards. I will blame it with beginning an acceptance speech with the with, word blurk. Right. All right, <laughs> Kia, thank you so much Thanks, for joining us.